ready, 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 most discombobulated, modulated, modulated video, video, video. Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, it snowed last night and now, oh, and now the snow's gone. We need to get, we need to get some things for dinner, but I wanted to try, I wanted to try a little experiment that I've, I don't know, I've had for a few days. This came to me, I don't know, a week ago, and I wanted to try something, so we're gonna go to the store, get the supplies that we need, and try this out. We might fail, we might blow ourselves up. Look at the front! I don't know what's gonna happen. So, buddy, you ready to go to the store? What the heck are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take him to the store and, and um, let's get the supplies. We got the supplies that we needed, but I. I just listened to a song. Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Look, Bella's and Rudolph. We got the supplies that we needed. I just, I don't know if it's going to be big enough. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get back home, start fiddling around with this, and see if we can get it to work. Eventually. It, it didn't. I didn't quite get what. Uh, what I was hoping for. I, I got, I want to make a cup out of dry ice and use that to try and drink something, but there's, I'll have to use a straw because dry ice. And then the other problem is, is the pieces that they gave me are like these, I can't, I can't necessarily drill something like that. So I think, I think I have an idea. See these pieces? What I'm thinking, let me show you. So what I'm thinking is that if I get just a little bit of water and put it in between the two that they'll freeze and fuse together. So if I like, it just, it just rolls off. All right, let's, let's drill through this. So if we put a little bit of water in there, will that freeze together? I'm actually touching it. So they just didn't give me any pieces of dry ice that were thick enough to make a cup out of it. I mean, that's, that's not thick enough to, to make a cup out of. Should we put some ice, some dry ice and some hot chocolate and make some hot chocolate with dry ice in it and see what happens? Want to do that? Yeah. Yeah? All right, I made, we have a, we have a hot cocoa maker. It's, it's the best thing ever, see? You just put the, you put the stuff in, you turn it, you can, mixes it and froths it and makes it good. So I've got my, I've got my favorite hot cocoa mug right here. Okay, we got some hot cocoa. Wow, that is bubbling. Let's say you're at a at a holiday party. I'm of a and and they offer you some some piping hot hot cocoa, and you're like you're like this. You're like, hmm, this this looks pretty good. Oh, that's just that's good, but it's just it's just too hot. Uh, well, luckily, you've got your best bud here, who who just happens to carry his own supply of dry ice. Right here, put it in. Yeah, let's put it in. Whoa! Wait. <laughs> Let me try. It tastes like it tastes like uh, hot cocoa. It tastes like hot cocoa. <laughs> yeah. It does. I've never put. I've never. <laughs> it does. <laughs> It smells like hot. Smells That's like hot. I've never put dry ice in hot chocolate. Come on, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it tastes like carbonated like hot cocoa. This is gonna carbonate my uh, hot chocolate. Come on. <laughs> it goes up my nose. The smoke goes up your nose and it's tingly. It's rapidly, it's rapidly becoming cold cocoa. Taste it, Matt. <coughs> Wait, no. If you've ever made homemade root beer, there's two, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, one of them you use yeast and one of them you actually <laughs> use dry ice and it carbonates. <laughs> I'm doing it. It actually carbonates whatever it is that you, you put it in. So, so if you're drinking like a soda, like a Sprite or a Dr. Pepper, and then you get that fizzy, that fizzy taste, that's the same thing that dry ice can do. <laughs> <laughs> you can't breathe when you're trying to drink it. What would happen if we put a little piece of dry ice in the salsa? All right, here we go. Let's, let's put some dry ice and some salsa and see what happens. Whoa, check out our salsa. 
Our salsa is smoking. If you were at a party and, and you had salsa out and you're like, oh, this is the spiciest salsa anybody's ever had and you put some dry ice in it, that would be the best idea ever. Why? Why? Because then people will be like, you're like, look how spicy it is. It's smoking is so spicy. I don't know if it's a dry ice, but that salsa is like 20% better. All right, let's, let's see if there's anything else that we can put some dry ice in, just, we can just, put dry just ice. because. All right, I had, I had one, more, one more good idea. Well, most of these are bad ideas. I got some warm water and some dish soap, and I mixed it together, and we're gonna put a piece of dry ice in it and see what happens. Here we go, you ready? Let's check this out. Ah! No! Ah! Oh my goodness! Look at this! Let's move these dirty dishes. Look at that! Watch out, bud! Bub. Oh my gosh! It's like a really cool thing! Oh my gosh, look at that! That's so cool! Oh yeah, look, watch. Watch what happens when I pop them. Ew, it's sticky. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It's like warm. So if you ever made, want to make a giant bubble snake, just get like some dishwashing soap or some dish soap and some hot water. If, if you have hot water, then the dry ice will react longer. The longer the dry ice is in there, the colder it makes the water. And then the water actually freezes around the dry ice and then it will not react anymore. Dry ice is one of the coolest things that you can get that's relatively safe that you can play with. I mean, you also know that you can make the dry ice bombs and stuff like that. But you never do that Dad. ever because that's not safe. So don't, don't, ever, don't ever do that. Hey guys, that was pretty fun tonight. That was, that was pretty cool. We used up all the dry ice. It's, it's all gone. We didn't do anything that we shouldn't have done. Uh, so thanks for watching. Remember, I'm going to be uploading new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's my new schedule. So just, you know, be ready for those. They're, they're scheduled. They're coming. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Hit the subscribe button. If you have not hit it, just go and just click it. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I, I'm, I think I'm like 99% on replying to comments. So leave me a comment. We'll chit chat. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.